Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of 101 Second Reviews and today I'm going to be talking about this Crazy Rich Asians, the brand new comedy that's out in the cinema now In it there are a girlfriend and boyfriend, they're in New York but she, who is a New York professor, university professor does not know how rich her boyfriend is and how rich his family are in Singapore then of course they have to go attend a wedding in that part of the world and that's where the problems start okay right back in a sec okay right crazy rich Asians now I went into this film knowing I don't even think I'd seen the trailer for it and I knew virtually nothing about it other than it was a comedy and that it was roundly applauded by the vast majority of critics it has an extremely high score on Rotten Tomatoes so you're thinking like going in you're thinking Jesus this must be funny I mean there must be something in this that's funny and I think since the first Hangover movie I have not walked into a film and been as roundly shocked by how fucking terrible it is than this I mean there's a clear parallel between the two for me the main problem about the film is very simple is that it's very important when you have a comedy or a drama or any kind of film on the whole that you have your best actors or people who can act and good characters and good character development and good writing very much at the forefront of the film have that as the start point and then work your way back from that this film is completely upside down all the good characters and all the good performances are very much side characters they're there for a minute and then they're gone the two leads are just atrocious and I can't work out whether it's that they are poor actors or whether the characters that they're being forced to play are the two of the glibbest, wettest characters ever seen on a cinema screen. I understand the historical importance of this film and its success. I'm absolutely behind that. But the film itself, without any shadow of a doubt, is not only questionable in terms of its depiction of money, but in terms of script and in terms of performance and in terms of comedy, it is an absolute fucking shambles of shit I don't like it okay thanks for watching as always and I'll be back soon with more reviews